Good evening viewers. Defense news. President Ramnath Kovind conferred the National Florence Nightingale Award 2020 to Deputy Director General of Military Nursing Service SV Saraswati. She has been conferred the award in a virtual ceremony for her immense contribution to the military nursing service as a nurse administrator defense ministry plans uniform retirement age for army navy and air force more years of service the move is expected to help out salary pension bills and address issues of reemployment and staff shortage India is the world's third biggest defense spender but much of it is on wages. India had earlier this year emerged as the world's third biggest defense spender after US and China. India outranked Russia on which it is heavily dependent for defense equipment. International news. Prime Minister Modi met Minister of Foreign Affairs of Saudi Arabia Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Sahad on 20th September the meeting reviewed progress on various ongoing bilateral initiatives including those taken under the aegis of strategic partnership council established between both countries The United Kingdom is forming a group of red zone countries arrivals from which will be considered to be unvaccinated even if they are fully vaccinated however fully vaccinated people of non red countries such as Africa South America countries including UAE India Turkey Jordan Thailand and Russia as per the Boris Johnson led government will be treated as an unvaccinated amid decline in covid cases in the country india may soon reopen its doors for foreign tourists for the first time in one and a half years first 5 lakh foreign tourists will be issued visas for free cost of an attempt to revive the tourism hospitality and aviation sectors the islamic state has claimed responsibility for the deadly bombings that targeted the taliban in eastern afghanistan in the attack at least 8 people including scores of taliban fighters were killed in last week youth affairs and sports minister anurag thakur virtually interacted with the sports ministers of states and union territories across the country to discuss the further promotion of sports in the country message for the day why do people walk in their sleep parasomnias are a group of sleep behaviors common in children teenagers and occasionally adults sleep occurs in two broad categories one is rapid eye movement and another one non rapid eye movement that means sleep cycles environmental factors sleep deprivation chaotic sleep schedules fever stress magnesium deficiency and alcohol intoxication can trigger sleep walking drugs that promote sleep for sedation or a hypnotism neuroleptic drugs that used to treat psychosis stimulates drugs that increase the activities antihistamines drugs that used to treat the symptoms of allergies these drugs are associated with an increased likelihood of sleeping walking conditions such as pregnancy and menstruation are known to increase the frequency of sleep walking in women sleep walking home remedies a person who has a sleep walking disorder can take the following measures get adequate sleep meditate or do relaxation exercises avoid any kind of stimuli such as cell phone or tv before going to bed 
keep a safe sleeping environment free of harmful or sharp objects sleep in a bedroom on a ground floor if possible to prevent falls and avoid bunk beds prime minister shri modi to share his thoughts with people in monkey bath on september 26 thank you thanks for listening